Hey folks, Nintendo here. Today we're taking a quick look at 10 crafts you may not know in DayZ. You can turn barbed wire into metal wire with pliers. This is great if you find yourself in a situation where you just want some metal wire to make traps or to use in your base. Traps are something I honestly need to use more often. There have been numerous occasions I would have survived an ambush if I had set up a trap outside a building I was looting or sniping from. So don't pass up barbed wire and pliers. They can be a quick source of metal wire, which could potentially save your life. Metal wire can also be used for animal traps. To do so, combine a short stick with metal wire and then add some bait. You can use a worm or apple, and in no time, you'll have a tasty snack. Here's a simple one, crafting a rope belt. Simply put a rope in your hand, and it will give you the option to craft. This will allow you to place a knife on your belt. If you consider a rope is three slots, and depending on your knife, maybe also three slots, in total, you'll be saving six slots by crafting a rope belt. On the topic of ropes, you can combine guts and a knife to craft a rope. So anytime you chop up a large animal or a player, you have yourself a rope. Ropes have many uses, from tying up players to crafting backpacks. Keeping one around is a great idea. You can combine a plastic bottle with a knife to craft a small fishing trap. Place the fish trap in a body of water and then add a worm to increase your chances of catching a fish. You'll need to leave the area for about 15 minutes and then when you come back, dinner will be waiting. Sardines can be found in salt water, whereas bitterlings can be found in fresh water. This is an odd one and one I have probably never used, but you can cut firewood into short sticks. So if you ever have a moment where there's no bushes around and you need small sticks, you could technically harvest some firewood and then break it down into short sticks. A situation where this could be helpful is if you break your leg, you need sticks for a splint, but you're surrounded by trees that will only drop firewood. Hey, the more you know. You can make a spear with a long stick and either a stone knife or a bone spear. This weapon is pretty good for poking zombies through windows. You can even use it to disarm bear traps. Did you know that you can combine a sewing kit with a single rag to make an armband? Well, you do now. Time to squad up. Next up is one of my favorite crafts but very rarely do I see it done. The leather backpack. Slay a large animal like a cow. Combine its pelt with garden lime to craft tanned leather. Then go ahead and combine the tanned leather with a leather sewing kit. Just like that, you have one of the best backpacks in the game. It has a slim profile and a huge amount of bag space. On the other side of the spectrum, we've got a small bag but a nice one when you're a fresh spawn, that is the dry bag sack. Combine a rope with a dry bag that you can often find on the coast to make a backpack. Then when you're done with it, you can disassemble it and you'll get your rope back. You could then even use the dry bag with a shovel or a pickaxe to make yourself a small buried stash. Ever spawn into a server at night with only a glow stick? Well, you could go ahead and craft a torch easily and it gives you a ton of light. You'll need to combine a stick with some rags or fat and you'll have yourself a torch. This is one of the crafts that I'll typically do as a fresh spawn with nothing to lose because honestly, you will give off a lot of light and players can see you from a long distance away. With that in mind, it's honestly a great craft and will make the darkness a whole lot easier. Alright, 
leave a comment with a simple yo if you made it to the end. Follow me on Twitch to catch me live. Subscribe to the channel and snipe the like button. Thank you and have an awesome day. Peace.